Recorder Bell Labs 208 Toolbox is a real boon for anyone who has a 208R Roman Filipov clone of the easel brains. It brings functionality that is only available at the moment on the BEMI, new BEMI music easels. Those two important ones are self-cycling the envelope generator and also switching the modulation oscillator from a low frequency oscillator into an audio oscillator. So let's take a quick look at those. So to put your 208R envelope generator into self-cycle mode, be sure the switch is in middle, the both position for the control switch. I have the tool card in the EG in the upper position and the knob turned all the way to the left. We need to start the pulser because we need to trigger the envelope generator in order for it to start self-cycling. So it's in pulser mode and all I do now is flip the switch. Let's see if we can hear this. And you can hear it go into self-cycle mode. We can now take the envelope generator out of pulser, turn the pulser off, and we now have a self-cycling envelope generator. Pretty simple. Now I'd like to show you the modulation oscillator. Right now it's in a saw wave coming up here, so just clicks. That's as high as it goes by itself. And you can hear in the modes change how these clicks get faster as we go through low to mid, too high. And of course, if we take the mod oscillator up to there and then go through these, This is really great. It gives you so many more possibility, timbral possibilities of uh, amplitude modulation, FM modulation, and of course balanced modulation coming in from an external source to have that mo modulation oscillator go into the audio range. Here are some fun little tricks with the Roman 208R and 218R and the Portobello Labs toolbox. When in both mode, you can get the envelope generator to self-cycle. This is usually not doable, uh, but with the toolbox it is. So I'm self-cycling the envelope generator and sending that to timbre of the complex oscillator. And I have a um, sequence going for the complex oscillator. that sweeping coming from the envelope generator. But now I can get an independent sequence from the modulation oscillator. It's just pumping out. But by using pulse out and sending one pulse directly to pitch of the mod oscillator and the other one by uh, processing it, through the CV mixer, we can get two different pitches. Now we have that sequence and this one together. Here's a neat trick. With the envelope generator in self mode, by taking it to its extreme, so super fast attack, sustain, and decay, it runs into the audio range. So by taking the envelope out and going into pitch of the complex oscillator, for instance, and raising that slider, CV slider,
we get basically amplitude modulation, or yeah, or pitch. Let's check it. Here are the various various things you can do. Sustain is interesting. And also, try the delay knob. And of course we can take CV from the pulser and send it to sustain. so many other possibilities. You could take the modulation oscillator and send it to sustain or any of the attack decay control voltage inputs. Explore, have fun, bye. And finally here's that little teaser video I did at the end of the last batch of tutorials. It's got the modulation oscillator in high mode coming from the card. So I have just a steady pitch here, gated by the pulsar, square wave. And I have a simple sequence going into the complex oscillator, coming up on gate one. And if you remember from a few tutorials back, I'm just using random to randomize the decay of the envelope generator. So, and together, and then we can bring some uh, modulation index in, and then when I flip the modulation to meet to mid range, we get this, uh, of course pulsating modulation. Pretty simple.